Welcome to another RMS support tutorial. Today we'll discuss the process of how to import a submittal in contractor mode. Now let's get started. Today's lesson will cover where to download the RMS submittal template for uploading, how to properly fill out the template, as well as how to upload submittals to a contract. We will begin in the contract menu. Navigate to the import export tab, then click on the import submittals module. Importing submittals is a process that provides you with the capability to import a submittal register even though a specs intact was not used to generate the specifications. This can be extremely useful if there are multiple submittals that need to be entered at once. Using the government provided Excel template, this selection can also be used in conjunction with a submittal register that was imported from a specs intact or input manually. By importing the submittal register, the information below is the necessary components required when importing a submittal. Click on Download Template to obtain a formatted Excel template. There will be a detailed list of instructions embedded in the template. The file name may be anything of your choosing, but retain the default XLS type file. When you have more than one register, click in the box and select the appropriate register from the drop-down menu. Multiple registers are created in RMS government mode. Inform your USACE representative when you are using more than one register and provide him or her with the names of your additional registers. The Import Mode selection allows you to select the action you want performed. Select Overwrite Existing Submittals to completely replace the entire submittal register, including items that may have already been transmitted. If you proceed to Overwrite, you will be prompted to identify yourself. The username of the logged in person will be displayed. This cannot be changed. A log of the types of actions is maintained in RMS3 for future reference in case there is ever a question of how data was deleted. Select Merge with Existing Submittals to add to the submittal register without removing existing items. This option can result in duplicate items. If there are existing transmittal items, it is recommended to merge into register and clean up any duplicates. Otherwise, data corruption of existing transmittal items can occur. RMS will automatically increment the item numbers. Lastly, click on Import Submittal Register when the document has been prepared and is ready to upload. Let's start by downloading a new template by clicking the Download Template button. This will download a zip folder containing two different documents, the actual RMS template and an example of an Excel submittal template for reference. Once we have downloaded the files, we will extract them to a designated location on our computer. Click on Extract at the top and proceed to follow the prompts. Now we will open the submittal template and begin filling this out. Before we start, let's make a copy of the file and title it appropriately. If we hover over the red colored section, we will notice that there are embedded instructions that will help guide us to properly entering this information. It is imperative that all instructions are followed correctly, or there may be issues with the importing process. Starting at the top, enter the contract number and delivery order. You may find these numbers from the contract selection menu. Then enter the title and location. Now we will enter the section number, paragraph numbers, and description of the item submitted. There must be data in columns A, B, and C. Column D through AA must have one and only one X in a column. You may use the tab key or cursor to navigate. Do not enter any blank fields with the spacebar as this can affect importing. The worksheet is set up with 800 rows for data. If this needs to be increased, contact your project engineer or RMS representative for instructions. When you have completed the input and editing of this document, save the document as an XLSX file type. Anything other than XLSX may result in improper importing. If the file type is not saved correctly, you may change this by clicking File, Save As, and selecting XLS Type. Since this document is already formatted correctly, we will cancel this process. Now that we have demonstrated how to properly fill out the template, we will proceed back to RMS and import this document to our contract. As mentioned before, by clicking Overwrite Existing Submittals, this will erase all the previously input submittals and replace them with the information we have just entered. By selecting this option, you'll notice a warning prompt displaying that there are already existing submittals and this method will delete any previously entered information. Click Yes. We are now prompted to enter the username and password to complete this action. For this demonstration, we will click Cancel and continue to import these submittals by selecting the Merge option. Once selected, click Import Submittal Register. Choose the submittal file and double-click the file or click Open. A successful import will be acknowledged. Click on OK then click on the back button to save. We can verify a successful import by navigating to the Submittals tab and entering the Submittal Register module. In this menu, if we scroll down, 
we can see our newly imported submittals. In summary, we discuss where to download the RMS submittal template for uploading, how to properly fill out the template, as well as how to upload the submittals to a contract. As a reminder, use the provided RMS template when importing any submittals to RMS. Follow all the provided instructions when entering any information to the template. Be sure to coordinate with your government representative if there are any discrepancies with the submittal information being entered. If there are any technical difficulties while attempting to import a submittal, such as error messages, crashes, or inability to access the program, please contact the RMS Support Help Desk by submitting a support ticket. Links to our contact information will be provided in the description of this video. We hope you found this video informative, and thank you for watching.